I had to make this video to bring awareness where you got camps saying that all Hispanics are Hebrew Israelites, non-black Hispanics, non-Negro. That's absolutely false. It's not true because to be Hebrew is to be black is Negro. That will be the ethnic ethnic word that we would use instead of black or saying African-American. We're, we look like we was amongst Africans in Egypt. We look similar. But God put a difference between us. He said it right here in Exodus 11 and 7. But against any of the children of Israel shall not a dog move his tongue against man or beast, that ye may know how that the Lord do put a difference between the Egyptians and Israel, meaning he put a difference between Hamites and Shemites. Israel Shemitic. We come out of Shem. We Negroes. That's why when they go, when they talk about Ham, who's Ham? He's the progenitor of the dark races, not the Negroes. We look similar, but we're not, we're not the same. We're different. Now, if we look similar to Africans, how, how can a non-black Hispanic be Hebrew or non-Negro? They, they wouldn't look, be mistaken for uh, an ancient Egyptian, period. Who's Ham? Ham, the youngest son of Noah, born probably about 96 years before the flood, and one of the eight persons to live through the flood. He became the progenitor of the dark races, not the Negroes, but the Egyptians, the Ethiopians, the Libyans, and the Canaanites. These are Ham's sons, Mizraim, Cush, Foot, and Canaan. Those are the four, and these are Africans. These are all so-called black people. How can it? How can you not be a Negro and be a Hebrew? It's absolutely false. This book right here, Nature Knows No Color Line. In this book, it explains the Jews when they went to Egypt that they were dark, they were black, not nothing else. Right here on page two, and it could be that the Jews before they left Egypt embedded some of the color prejudice mentioned by Messi, but it could not have been strong among them because they were dark. Or even black. One rabbi does say that they were black at that time. That the passage black but comely from the Song of Solomon means I was black in Egypt but comely in Egypt. There is no doubt that after four centuries in Egypt the Jews had mixed much with Egyptians and Ethiopians. Whom their legend described as black and woolly hair. See black people. Thus the main difference between Hebrews and Egyptians was not racial but religious. The form which economic exploitation then took Miriam's rejection of the Ethiopian wife of Moses, Zipporah, was not on color but on religion and more likely on culture. Furthermore, we have no proof that the original 70 Jews who went to Egypt were white. According to the legends, they originated in Chaldea, and there is no considerable evidence the inhabitants of the region in earliest times were Negroid. In fact, some writers said the Jews were an African people. See, they said that we were an African people. How could we get mistaken that for Africans if we didn't look like them? We're Negroes. We're similar, but not the same. So uh, a Hispanic that's not a non-Negro Hispanic what cannot be Hebrew. How? That's, that's no different than a, a, a black man marrying a Caucasian woman and trying to save her and say, trying to, you know, make excuses for her to be saved. But if the, if the Hispanics are non-Negro, they cannot be Hebrew, period, point blank. It's like, it's no way around that. What? How hard is that to understand? Now they got out here preaching this false stuff, saying all Hispanics are Hebrews and not making the distinction. You got, you got two different kinds, black and white. This book right here. The Conquistadors and Pueblos. This is a book explaining when Christopher Columbus and Hernan Cortez came here. There were white Caucasian Spaniards. Those those are the the so-called brown Hispanics people. Right here, page 44, where it say the Turk led the Spaniards on a trail south along the, the Paco River, then eastward of the Buffalo Plains. A vast herd blackened the palms. Where a sight no white man had seen before. See, right here, they calling themselves a white man. Conquistadors know they white. This woman right here is La Mala Armada La Negra. She's Dominican. 
she will be a Hebrew Israelite. This will be a world Israelite right here. When you say Hispanics or Latinos, it will be her. She's an Afro-Latino. She always struggled with get being accepted by the other Latinos because they want to know why she dark or why she got an Afro because she's black. She's a real Hebrew Israelite. If they not black, they not Hebrew. They can convert, but they can't be Hebrew. This is another one, Pio, right here. He's another Dominican, black, that speaks, that's of Latin descent. They speak Spanish. If they not black, they cannot be Hebrew. He's another one. If you go look up Pio, you will see how he talk and everything. Now, we know Yasharala, all Hebrews were black, Negro only. There's no way around that. Shemitic, right here. When you look up the Hebrew language, it's Afro-Asianic languages. Afro-Asianic languages, formerly Hamitic, Semitic languages, family of about 250 languages spoken in North Africa, parts of Sub-Saharan Africa, and the Middle East. So-called is made up. That's the Arabian Peninsula, which is still part of Africa. It includes such language as Arabic, Hebrew, Aramaic, and, and Hasua. The number of the total number of speakers is estimated to be more than 250 million. See Afro Asianic. When you go to the Egyptos and Semitic, it goes on Egyptian, Semitic, Captic, Hebrew. See all these Afro Asianic, Afro meaning black, Negro. It's nowhere around that. Any Hispanic that don't identify with being black, African-American, cannot be Hebrew. I don't care what they say. They just got a problem with the real. Hey, you're going to hurt some feelings. That's just what it is. Right here, you see all the Semitic languages in green. The Arabian Peninsula. You see how I only go to Syria and Iraq? Everything west of that is part of Euphrates River. The whole Arabian Peninsula is Semitic. You see the Horn of Africa? That's Kushite. And all that is Semitic, meaning black, Negro, all in Africa. You see that? Now, how real Hispan Spaniards come from Spain, that's up in so-called Europe, which is made up. How can they be Hebrew? Right here, Genesis 9 and 22. And Ham, the father of Canaan, saw the nakedness of his father and told his two brothers without. And Shem and Japheth took a garment and laid it upon their shoulders and went backwards to cover the nakedness of their father, and their faces were backwards, and they saw not their father's nakedness. And Noah woke from his wine and knew what his younger son had done to him. And he said, Cursed be Canaan, the servant of servants, shall he be unto his brethren. And he said, Blessed be the Lord God of Shem. See, he said who he got of, God of Shem, God of the Hebrews. That's Exodus 5 and 1 and Exodus 9 and 1. He's the God of Shem, and Canaan shall be his servant. God shall enlarge Japheth, and he shall dwell in the tents of Shem, and Canaan shall be his servant. This is exactly why the so-called Africans of Africa, Africa is getting raped, because they cursed. They're, they're Hamites. Noah cursed Canaan. This is why Africa go through what it go through. And this is exactly why you got Ashkenazi Jews in the tents of Shem, because they come from Japheth. They're not Edomites. They come from Japheth. That's what they live in under the tents of Shem, Shem, that they Hebrew, they Jews. That's exactly what's going on right now. There's no way around that. Genesis 10 and 1. And Canaan begot Sidon, his firstborn, and Heth. That's where the Hevites come from. And the Jebusite, that's where the Jerusalem come from. And the Amorite, and the Gergesite, and the Hevite, and the Archite, and the Sinite, and the Avadite, and the Germanite, and the Hamanite. And afterwards, where the family of the Canaanites spread abroad. And the borders of the Canaanites were from Sidon, thou comest near Gerar and Gaza, as thou goest to Sodom and Gomorrah, and Adam, and Zob, and Zeboam, even into Lasha. These are the sons of Ham after their families, after their tongues, and after their countries and, and their nations. See? These are all Hamites. <clears throat> Sodom and Gomorrah come from Ham. They're all Africans. All that stuff was going on there. People don't explain that. The Jebusite is where Jerusalem come from. Jerusalem is an African nation. So you got people over there now claiming to be black. How? This is why in Joel 3 and 4 where, where, where God said, told, what you have to do with me, Tyre and Zidon and all the coasts of Palestine, 
What you have to do with me? I don't, y'all Africans. I don't deal with y'all. And people don't talk about that. People in Libya, if they're non-Negro, black, they, they're none of that. They want to, the glory of that is no way around that. Period, point blank. If you're non-Negro, you cannot be Hebrew. First Chronicles 11 and 1. And David and all Israel went to Jerusalem, which is Jebus, where the Jebusites were, the inhabitants of the land. And the inhabitants of Jebus said unto David, Thou shalt not come hither. Nevertheless, David took the castle of Zion, which is in the city of David. And David said, Whosoever smited the Jebusites, first shall be chief and captain. So Joab, the son of Zeruah, went up first and was chief. See? Jebus is Canaan's third son. That's where the Jebusites come from. That's the name of Jerusalem. Jebus is Jerusalem. That's where Jerusalem come from. So if Canaan, if Jebus is Canaan's son, he's an African. That's Noah's grandson. They're black, so-called black people. It's nowhere around to say all Hebrews are black. It's black on Negro only. If they not Negro, it's just what it is, man. It's nowhere around that. It's no way around that. How are they going to say they, that they black or they Hebrews? That's the real ethnicity we use instead of saying black or African-American. We're Hebrew Israelites. You cannot be Hebrew if you're a non-Negro. And these people identify with being that. That's a process of elimination. That's what they said. Now they, now they, now they want to be us. See, like the scriptures say, they don't want to be black. And it's true. To be Hebrew is to be black. If you're not black, you're not Hebrew. Deuteronomy 7 and 1. When the Lord thy God shall bring thee into the land where the thou goest to possess it, and has cast out many nations before thee, the Hittites, Heth, and the Gergesites, and the Amorites, and the Canaanites, and the Parasites, and the Hivites, and the Jebusites, seven nations greater and mightier than thou. These are all African nations. These are all Canaan's sons, all Ham's grandchildren. These are all Africans, black people. Again, so called. Come on, man. Why y'all out here preaching this false stuff and telling a lie? It's okay. They can convert to being the Judaism and following the word. You can't say they're Hebrews, though. That's a lie, man. I don't care how much y'all point that out there. There's no way that they can be Hebrews if they're not black. We're much, these are all Africans right here. We know that. Genesis 35. And the sons of Leah, Reuben, Jacob, firstborn. And Simeon and Levi and Judah and Issachar and Zebulon. See, they be trying to say Issachar is, is the northern tribe of Hispanics. Come on, they got the same mother and father. If if Simeon was called nigger in Acts 13 and 1, if we know if we know Moses and Aaron was black, and we know Judah is black, that's Jeremiah, Jeremiah 14 and 2. Judah mourned against our language, they are black into the ground. Right, they got the Issachar got the same mother and father as his brothers. How can he be just be Hispanic, non-black? Yeah, if he he's a black Hispanic, but not a non non-Negro. Period. Jeremiah fourteen and two. Jer Judah mourning and the gates their language. They are black into the ground, and the car Jerusalem has gone up. See right there, Jerusalem. The, Jerusalem. It's Jebus. Jebus is an African. That's Ham's grandson. We can blend in with them. So how is it that they just non-Negro now? Y'all just trying to save people and don't want to hurt people's feelings, but it's okay. Acts 13 and 1. Now here, we're in the church that was in Antioch. Certain prophets and teachers as Barnabas and Simeon that was called nigger and Lunas of Cyrene and Menin, which had been brought up out of Herod. See that? Right there, they call Simeon a nigger. That means black. We know that. Y'all not going to keep putting the premise saying black this, black that. And they call them the Judah black, but it's a whole nother ethnicity of people of the northern tribes. Y'all crazy out y'all mind, man. I want, I don't care what y'all say. Y'all can say what y'all want to say. It's not true. It's false. And y'all got to stop spreading that, spreading that lie. The truth is, is all Hebrews are black, period. Right here, you see the word nigger, Strong's. G3526, nigger, right there, nigger equals black, surname for the prophet Simeon, Acts 13 and 1. Strong's definition, nigger, nigger, a Latin word, black, nigger, a Christian, nigger. See, so we know the real Christians were black. See how I say nigger, a Christian? 
So we know the real Christians, so-called, they were called Christians in Antioch by other people. They knew who they were. They were black people, so-called Hebrews. The real Jews were black. There's no way around that. I know they want the glory. It's okay. But y'all cannot be part of y'all not part of the fold. It's just what it is. I'm the real Jew and I know it's not that. It's okay. Acts eleven and twenty six. And when he had found him, he brought him into Antioch and it came to pass that a whole year they assembled themselves with the church and taught much people, and the disciples were called and the disciples were called Christians first in Antioch. And in these days came prophets from Jerusalem into Antioch. They coming out of Af uh, African people into Antioch, meaning black. So we know the first Christians were black. They were called that by other people. They knew their disciples were black. There's no way around that. All Hebrews were black. I don't care what nobody say. They can convert. And that's just what it is. If you want to keep up with more of my visual, like, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Thanks.